What's going on everyone? So it's a new day and we have the tire delivery for the tire on the other side and today we are basically going to put the suspension back together so we can raise the other side and remove the wheel and uh, go and put the new tire uh, on today and then we're gonna mess with the suspension wise but uh, as you know the other tire is pretty flat so that's why we are going to remove it and uh, go to the tire shop and put the new one on so stay tuned okay so we're putting back the suspension we're going to put this kind of nut over here then we're going to put the big washer so it doesn't move And then we're gonna put the nut. And then we're going to tighten it down. See if I remember correctly what night it was. Yep, okay. Ah, oh, looks like we need to remove the extension. And that is tight. That is going nowhere. Now we just gotta put the wheel back on together. So looks like we may need another jack because I cannot fit uh, the wheel on there. So we are going to go to the Harbor Freight with the Lightning and we are going to go and grab a second jack. So let's go to Harbor Freight. Okay, so we came back and I was able to borrow a jack. So a little bit. There we go. It's a pretty beefy one and I think it will be low enough so we can put it on the car. So let me just carry this thing to the car and uh, we can lift it up and see if it, uh, if it will fit or not. Okay, so we got the jack over here. We have the first jack, we have it over here as you can see. And I'm thinking of putting the second jack over here so I can lift up the control arm and put the wheel back on together. I also had to fix the bolt over there as I put the washer inside on the wrong way. So that's one thing to note. So we're just gonna lift it up over here and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so I just lifted it up and it's quite a bit on the air so I think that should be enough but I'm afraid hopefully it fit the tire because the tire is big and hopefully it fits between the, uh, the jack 
and uh, the router so hopefully it, it fits between there but uh, I guess only time will tell so let's see okay so we got the tire in there now we're just gonna put the lugs back in Now we just got to put the locking nut on it. So we need the locking key and the nut. As you see the locking key is special because it has these groovies which the other ones don't have the groove so it's harder to steal and if you put the socket back on it will not go on so that's one thing to consider so that's why when you have the locking key this locking key has the grooves as you see over here and it just basically if you get it right it plugs it plugs right back in and you can lock it in so that's what that's how uh, locking key works so let's put that in so you want to have the wrench key put the locking key here and then put the locking nut in it like so I don't know if you can see it. there you go like so so let's put that Okay, and now for the moment of truth, we are going to remove all the lift and see how it goes. So first, let me remove this rock over here. Okay, so are you ready? Let's see it go down. There we go. Uh, you know what? I think we're gonna have to raise it back again and put the lift because I cannot get it out as you see it's, it's touching the AC compressor or AC filter thing so uh, let's put it back up put the other jack in we'll, we'll remove this one and then we'll uh, remove both of them so. Now let's lower the car. There we go. 
So with that being said, the car is lowered. It's on its own tires. Now we're just gonna retire on all the lugs. And then we'll, I'll remove this tire and uh, we'll put it on the truck with the new tire over there and then we're gonna mount it, so. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. But you're gonna have to watch part two for that as I think this video uh, uh, was one of the longest ones, so. I don't wanna make a super long video, so I'm gonna break it down in two parts, so. That's that, so like, comment, subscribe and uh, check back tomorrow for part 2. See ya!